Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now early October. The disaster of the potato field is beyond us and ahead of us is tackling the beet field. But I'm going to leave that for a day. I think two days we'll struggle with that potato harvest. We're going to, we're going to let, <laughs> we're going to let <laughs> root crops sit for a bit. So, last time out we found out that there were issues with the clamp. I've been a good boy. I've completely updated the entire map. So I'm now running the map that is on the mod hub. The map that everyone else has. Hopefully, I'll be okay going forwards. This should be the final version of Maple. Cavalier Roy has finished with Maple, finished with Riverview. And the last, uh, at the time of me speaking, here now, the last um, Ebony Isle update has uh, gone out and is with Giants. So he's looking to take a break from modern, enjoying his maps, playing his maps, and he's going to come back in February and work on something new. So uh, I look forward to seeing that. But anyway, I cleared out my clamp after updating, and we now have... Unfortunately, it don't come up and show you now. Um, I think there is a mod that will uh, show you how much you have if you look at a pile. But we have a little over 400,000 litres. We had 477,000 litres. I took a screenshot. I'll try and clip it and put it in here at this point. We have a little over that. Not a little over the 477, but a little over the uh, 400,000. I did compensate myself for the trouble and put 70, no not 70, about, f yeah, maybe 70, about nearly 70,000 litres in here. 20, 40, no I didn't. <laughs> 44,000 litres in here. Uh, so there was some silage in here. I put two more lots of um, potatoes in here. I put another half trailer of potatoes, the last half trailer of potatoes in there. Unfortunately, by loading my silage in there, it has seeped through the back of it, I think. But that'll be alright. As we dig it out, it'll disappear. A bit like this does. It's not an issue. So, that's been going on. I've done that. The cows... The cows? Wasn't keeping track of the cows, was I? Apparently four months ago. Oh, we've had even more as well now. Good lordy. Okay. We're now at 284. At the end of last night, we'd had another 14, and we were at 254. So now we've had another another 30 calves. So uh, the dairy herd is growing. Now, I was talking to uh, Cavalier Roy a while back, when this comes out, and he was asking if we were going to try and build the herd up again. Uh, I want to try. I'm not sure if I want to do it that quick This all of a sudden. We're still just getting Maze Plus under control. I've decided that I'm going to keep vehicles in here, since I'm not using the robots at the minute. The beef cattle are... Oh, how are they? Oh, they're good. They've still got so much. They really aren't eating much at all. I don't think I even changed the feed for the beef cows, so... They, they are just young cows and not eating a lot. Trying to think what else I've done. What else did I do? I, I've tidied up. I've sorted things out. Ah, I fed the chickens, hence why the uh, the front loader is on. The Massey, they've been fed corn. They've been fed wheat. They have been fed sugar beet. So the only thing they're missing is their protein, which is soybeans that we're going to be planting later. So that's sort of that done. But we have got things we can do today. Beyond potatoes. One of them is ploughing up more fields. So we're going to get the New Holland hooked up to our subsoiler. We're going to dig up some fields with that one. And we'll set a worker to do this because I want to do some sales today and we need to head over to the greenhouses. I've not forgotten about They're still there. Uh, we want to check on them, probably buy some bags of seed to uh, fill them up and uh, keep them going. That took a little while extra. There's still some on that side by the tree line, but I was facing in the wrong direction when I got to the end, and I thought, you know what, we'll just plow them in. 
can't be worrying about it. So I'm hoping that if I just use a regular worker, they shouldn't struggle too much with this. They may, at the top, cut themselves short and uh, they'll leave us a headland to do at the end. But I'm absolutely fine with that. This field is full of stones, that's going to need picking. If I remember rightly, we have stones elsewhere as well, although they may just need um, rolling in. I think we've rolled it. It's, everything feels like so long ago because I've spaced out the recordings a lot more recently because of reducing the schedule for Christmas and such. Yes, yeah, so there's just a few stones in here. This has been rolled. Definitely been rolled. So they just need picking out, I think. Let me not worry about that. That one's fine. So yeah, on to the next job. And our first job is going to be taking care of the greenhouses. Heading up there now. We're going to stop off at the store pick up some supplies, so we've got the Massey following behind, they've got the flat sort of uh, bale trailer with them, and uh, we've got a trailer full of manure, just in case we need some more. I should imagine there's <laughs> probably still about 100,000 litres or more in the manure pit up there because we put a lot in, but it was a few years ago now. In game, that was a while ago, so uh, you never know, it may need more. I'm certain that some of the greenhouses ran out of seeds a while back. Um, in between doing things I do check in on how the production stuff is going, I just don't always show it and uh, yeah some of them were quite low a while back. So anyway let's uh, get some supplies. Well I think we spent about 32, 35 grand on supplies. We've got eight bags of seeds, eight bags of solid fertilizer because we do the we do, we do the manure and we also do solid fertilizer in these because they have the option for both and we have six greenhouses but each greenhouse works like two there's or well, there's two options to uh, run it so that's that's sort of what we do if you haven't been here since the last time we came up or if you haven't if you missed the last time we came up you'll see the entrance has changed with one of the updates, the layout of the, some of the roads and the map changed so we had to adjust our greenhouses a little bit, which is fine, it still works well. Everything's here. I should imagine we're getting close to a point where we're ready for another big strawberry sale. Since we don't use them, they, they, initially they were going to be used to, be, to make uh, like strawberry beer, strawberry cider, that sort of thing. I think they're going to struggle there. Nope, cleared it. Awesome. It's a shame they can't follow so nicely <laughs> when I've got a bit of equipment on the back and we're doing a big job. So yeah, it could be time for a big strawberry sale. While they're following up, we'll, uh, I always jump out of the vehicle while it's on the run. And we're nearly at 200,000, so things have slowed down here. Let's just have a little look. That one's running. That one's running. That one's dead. I was expecting more of them to be dead, especially at the back. That one. Excuse me, I'm heavy so gassy. A terrible the thing is, I know as I say that, and then you, the the mic doesn't pick up the noise. Yet if I if I didn't <laughs> if I didn't mention it, you'd hear it. So I apologise every time. I drink a lot of caffeine, and uh, that's just something that it does. So we'll uh, get rid of them, and I'll also. Yeah, I'll uh, unstrap all that there. And leave it. We should have some forks. We'll try and do this properly. Hopefully, anyway. Right. So what I will need to do is take that weight off. Put it on the back, just for ballast. Now this uh, this massy is uh, heavier than the drop nose, and it has been able to manage the weights a lot better than the drop nose did when I was uh, filling up the chickens and stuff like that. So we've only got the small one. We did have the big ten winkle on here for a little while. Right, to so make sure I got room, we'll uh, get rid of the manure first. 
just a feral bit in there. Now, the manure, providing they're all placed as they were at the very first placement, uh, the manure is actually automatically feed in the first three greenhouses at the front row, I think. Maybe not the far end anymore, but definitely the front two. They still get fed. And this is one of those big storage ones, so this will hold a lot. I think this holds that little, that little manure pit will hold 4 million litres, I think. Should we see how much is in there? 85,000. Ah, that's a little less, but you know, that's still a lot. And we're now going to dump another 45 in there. Oh, look, we've got seeds. That's alright. Are they all full? Oh, that one's not full, that one. Okay, cool. It's absolutely fine. If we've got any left over, which I don't think we will have, we'll. Uh, that might empty in. I don't think it reached the pit, did it? So it turns out even the simple jobs day <laughs> turned into a bit of a nightmare for far, far farms. I don't know why. The, I'm sure we filled this manure heap the first time with that trailer, or at least recently, the last time with that trailer. They didn't want to empty it in clean, as you can see it's sort of spilling out, so maybe. Maybe I've placed a different manure heap. In fact, I recall now mentioning it. Now I've said it aloud. It's a different manure heap from the one I first put down. Because it had that massive capacity. Whereas it, obviously this one doesn't. So it's all spilling out. So I used, <laughs> used the trailer to just top up the, the back. Um, greenhouses with the manure they need. And... Uh, I've just got rid of the manure that was then left in there because we don't need it. We've got so much manure, we'll probably end up having to sell some just to stop the uh, farm overflowing. Especially now we've got more cows coming, although well, the little ones shouldn't lose too much. Hopefully, he says. Right. Let's try and get a couple of these bags at a time. It's nearly midday already. So we've got one or two other things I'd like to do today. In a bit. Maybe a little bit too much. Come on. Probably should have left it where it was. It was probably where it needed to be, after all. Just go with two. We won't be able to be greedy. Oh, there was a little dip there. Did you see it? So we'll put seeds in all of them, and then whatever's left, we'll uh, store. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow. Feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that pay. I need a change in my life because I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm going to stay there till I feel like I'm winning. Oh, and this is just the beginning. I need a big change. Help me feel like living. I need a big swing. Home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all. And we all got dreams. Y'all want things, but what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe you can do anything? But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? As it is often, whenever I try, <laughs> try to do anything that requires any skill, this has been a fucking disaster. Started off well, now the bag's spinning. I think, I bet Giants thought they were super smart when they added some bag physics. And then the bags turned out like this. Like, these bags, yeah, they've got physics. They do not move like any bag known to man. Not in the slightest, do they? Go on, get on there. <laughs> Mental. 
We're going to keep him what he did because yeah, it had a little moment in the tractor as well, which was quite funny. Physics. Oh, never mind. These ones are in. I had a little fight with some ones in the shed. I can come back and uh, top up again at a later date. I just wanted to get some in here, make sure they're all ticking over a bit. I think there'll be one or two that are a little bit short on seeds compared to the others, and one or two that are short on um, solid fertiliser compared to the others. But all will have something. And they don't go through exceptionally quick anyway. Beautiful. Right, I want to put the forks away up here. This is sort of the only place I use them at the minute. Probably should keep them at the store, but then that means I'd always have to take the Massey to the store and do things. I keep them here for the bags. Perhaps what I need is a bag lifter. Anyway, we've got more things to do. It's nearly two o'clock. And that next job is going to be selling some of our goods. So we've loaded up with our honey got 13,000 litres of honey, which is a fair old amount, and uh, so 11,000 eggs, nearly 12,000 eggs, and we're going to take the eggs to the bakery, because we always sell everything at the supermarket, because the supermarket generally has a good price for what we have, give or take, but the bakery at the minute is offering, I think, nearly 300 per thousand more on eggs than anywhere else, so I thought, you know what, we'll take that and try and make some money. Now, try it. I want to go in this way. Sorry, didn't indicate. There's no traffic. Now, I don't think they take honey here. If they do, we'll probably hit a loss on the honey, but we'll see. Eggs are going, honey's staying, so that's good. How much money are we going to get? Quite a bit. I'm never sure what the conversion is with uh, eggs to literage because it tells you the number of eggs you have, not the litres of eggs you have. But we got 44 plus 2,000, so we got 46 and a half grand pretty much for our eggs. <laughs> That's insane. So uh, let's head to the supermarket because that is where we're going to sell the honey. Now I've got to say, our new old Volvo is so much better for hossing about on this map than the little Fiat van. I love the little Fiat truck van thing. But this, this is so much easier. It doesn't struggle on the uh, inclines. Not like the Fiat did anyway, especially when we're not under heavy weight. We'll see how we do going up the uh, the slope into the supermarket. Because it's uh, renowned to be quite steep and has struggled many uh, tractors and trucks. So uh, let's see how we go. Actually remember to indicate today. Oh, like that. Not a worry in the world. We'd still be coming up at. So we'll uh, try and find a spot. It's a little over. I can't remember rightly. It's sort of in a weird spot. I always approach it at a weird angle. Just got to take it to the other one because it's uh, clocking up in small increments. Will it sell here? Or do I, am I too high? Yeah, I'm too high for that one. It's annoying. But we've already made like 20 odd grand. Keep this trigger marked up when I come down here. Just going in little bits, little bits. What sell, bitch? What I might do is paint it a bit different. I might mark it up so we know where I need to be. Sell. There we go. Because I hate you having the triggers and the lights and everything on. But that is annoying when I can't find it. I know it's there. Just can't find the exact spot. But we have made, I'm gonna go into our finances, products sold. So it's 44. Our eggs separate from that, because we made more money than that. Harvest income, milk sold, we got 168 again so far this month. So it went 
dribs and drabs, came in big, then went small, <laughs> and it sort of limped in again. So yeah, I think somewhere between products sold and harvest income is, is our money. 44 for the eggs, 39 for the uh, for the honey. And on the way back, we're stopping off, we put our sides on, and uh, we're just getting some grain grist. Because that's going to help with the feed. Now what I probably should do is bring it back in pallets, because I don't think there's, other than dumping it on the ground, I don't think, I've got like 70,000 litres in there, I think we'll fill this up. Not fill it up, but we'll like 20,000 litres in. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's a container that I can tip this in to store. Whereas it does do the bag thing, but that means we've got to find somewhere to put the bags. I'll have to look into that. I'll have to grab a look at my mate Disturb Simulations and see what information he has on storing Brain Grist and Maze Plus products. That'll be enough. 24,000. So we're going to take this back. We're going to sort of start feeding the cows. I'm just going to put the Grain Grist straight into the feed trough. Now I really wanted to be using the Keen, but with the quantity of cows we have, I think it's just, to fill that up each time is fine, if you've only got a few cows, you do it three or four times every day maybe, if you're running on a slower speed, you can do that, but it only holds like 20 odd thousand litres, and we need hundreds of thousands of litres, it would just take forever. So as much as I love that Keen, as much as I wanted to do the TMR, I just think it will take too long to keep filling this up unless we edited it further and gave it a, a silly capacity. So the Keen is probably going to go. In fact, we'll do it now. So I don't have an R over it. We'll uh, repair it, repaint it, we'll sell it on the market. We're going to get 30 odd grand. Okay. It was a good idea at the start. Uh, like I said, when we go on to another series after Maypole, we'll be doing Maze Plus again. But we'll be, do we'll be doing it uh, more sensibly from the start. We'll work our way up. And we'll do it with a small amount of animals. We'll do different animals as well. If we only have 20, 30 of each animal, if that, it'll be more manageable than having 250 cows. <laughs> or 500 cows as it was at the start which just completely threw us. Now I'm going to get some of these beets out. These chopped beets. I want to put the beets in there. Our worker has finished. See them over there. Look at that. All the way over there. Um, but I can also see that they haven't gone around the edge very tidily. So uh, I'll have to go over it and I'll tidy that up at the end of the day. Because we are going to start losing daylight. But we now have... Two, two types of silage. This grass, as you can see, is going to be ready to cut again very soon. I think we can get a late cut in the year. I think you can get your last cut like early November or late October if that grows again. So we may be fortunate enough to do that. Pump this in. But now I've got to try and load this up with uh, silage. So we may not need to do, if I'm going to feed like this and not worry about all the different TMR mixes, we don't need to do two lots of silage. So I'm now trying to think, how can we make this more efficient? Doing two lots of silage means we have to wait for two lots of silage and they're ready at different times of the year. And, you know, that's just, that's held us back. So we're doing it this way. We are pumping whatever we've got, when we've got it. And uh, everyone should be a little bit, <laughs> animal-wise anyway, everyone should be a little bit happier. Now, because that's not a clamp, we shouldn't get that sp just keep spinning me head. We shouldn't get that spill. What are the cows looking like now? Let's have a look. See, that's much better already. So, the, But the thing they're short on is their base feed. It is the silage. And because I was holding out for silage, they've waited so long for it. So I'll, uh, I'll pump a load of uh, silage into that, to the back of that. I won't make you watch me fill that as well, but I want, I want to try and get a, uh, a load in 
before uh, we leave. So there's something that we've done. I'll probably put a couple of uh, loads in, to be fair. And then when we cut, we'll be able to fill that with silage. Or we'll do, we'll cut it all. And some of it I'll put in fresh, because I'll put fresh in with those ones, because that holds them for so long. Put it in fresh. Oh, that already was uh, folded. So yeah, I don't think we'll get that dump of spillage because it's not being held in. Like with the with the silage clamp, uh, it's it's getting held in because you can't dump silage in a silage clamp. Let's put a light on. There we are. Right. So uh, yeah, I'll fill this. That's gone over the edge. <laughs> I'll fill. Nope, still over the edge. Come on. Depth perception is a thing, mate. Come on. <laughs> oh, bollocks. <laughs> it's just not happening, is it? What a day. There we go. Right. <laughs> clean up on aisle two. I'm not going to tell you how many times I had to clean, clean up the yard. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, if you'd like to improve the quality of gameplay here, and you'd like me to get glasses so I can see better, support the channel, join a membership. <laughs> we also have uh, Giants affiliate links in the description. If you purchase through a link, it does help the channel in some tiny way. Um, yeah, I don't really plug that, do I? I said I would. I told the Discord I was going to ram them links down everyone's throat, and I always forget to even mention it. But yeah, we, we, uh, we managed to get Giants affiliate, can you believe it? They do watch the content. So... I think that'll be it for today. I've got to get out into the um, New Holland. I've got to finish off that subsoil and make that tidy. I want to try and get at least one more load of silage in here before I call it a night. Oh man, the rain. And then next time out, we will be uh, heading over and uh, tackling the beats. I just needed a day where I won't stress about follow me, course play, stuff like that. And it was just my mistakes that caused the issues, and I am fine with that, because I know that I'm not that good. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comment some feedback down below. Give me some feedback. Tell me what you think. How long would you like us to stay here? Would you like us to now move on somewhere else? You know, like I said, I know this series has been going a long time, and... Uh, I, I'm happy with how we're going here and it will just be further expansion of repeatedly doing this now so maybe a fresh start is something we need uh, come and join us in the discord if you so wish lots going on there we've got all sorts of things happening I'm trying to freshen it up do different bits in there at the time of recording this I've just made some changes today so uh, yeah try to try to make that more accessible to more people uh, memberships to the the channel if you so wish helps all, all money helps to support the channel and will go to improving the channel just not my gaming ability and uh, Mr. Farquhar Plus, where non-simulation gameplay is going to go, that should be up and running very soon. Yeah, all that, I need to learn how to cram all that down a little bit shorter now. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and I shall see you very soon. Bye-bye.